A look ahead to Friday coming up, but first, the headlines. Rosneft tightening its hold on the Russian oil industry. Sources close to the deal say the Russian state oil firm is bidding for BP's 50% stake in TNK BP. Nokia warning of a challenging fourth quarter as it rolls out the latest version of its Lumia smartphone. The company reporting smaller than expected losses today in the third quarter. And Germany and France clash ahead of the EU summit. Angela Merkel wants the European Commission to have veto power over national budgets that breach EU rules. But François Hollande says the priority should be to get moving on European banking union. That two-day summit concludes tomorrow. Richard Hunter from Hargreaves Lansdowne says he doesn't expect any surprises. We have seen um, the Chinese rate of growth slowing down to 7.4% this morning, although many Chinese commentators are suggesting that that particular economy is, is now bottoming. Providing there aren't any complete car crashes coming out of the European summit, um, investor sentiment has definitely taken a turn for the positive. On the data front tomorrow, September German producer price inflation forecast to drop slightly from August but hold steady at 1.6% on an annual basis. Eurozone current account data also due tomorrow morning. Finally, more big earnings releases in the United States. Bellwether General Electric releases Q3 results. GE has spent billions buying companies in recent years but says only a few acquisitions are now on the horizon. Analysts expect earnings of 36 cents per share up from 22 cents for the same quarter last year. Honeywell and McDonald's also report Q3 numbers. That's our look ahead to Friday. I'm Jamie McGeever. This is Reuters.